can red light therapy help with glaucoma? So I recently did a video on this channel where I gave a general protocol for red light therapy. And at the end of the video, I said, if you guys have any questions, like specific benefits you want to learn more about, then I will do future videos. And the first person that commented dropped a question asking about glaucoma. So if you don't know, glaucoma is a condition where the nerve leading to your eye is damaged, can lead to blindness, and red light therapy is a possible solution for this. Now I'm going to give you a quick study. I want to give you a, a review that they've actually done on the literature around using red light therapy for glaucoma, and then going to give you a protocol at the end of it. Today is nice and informal. I've just gotten myself a standing desk which is great because I can lift up the camera now is sitting at the right height. But when I put the microphone stand on, it's like sitting up out of the screen. So today I'm holding it. I will get another boom arm. But the study that we're going to be jumping into today. So the title is The Potential Effects of Light Irradiance in Glaucoma and Photobiomodulation Therapy. Now this is a review, which means it's not just one study. They've grouped together a whole bunch of studies and they've drawn conclusions from this. It's a very good form of evidence because it means we're using a large data pool of evidence and you can make much better inferences from this because you're looking at more data points. It won't be something like one clinical study could just have a small group of people and fluke chance they find a result. With a review, it's going through many different studies. Now, I will leave a link in the description of this video if you want to go and check out this study. Just when you open up the link, you will get the abstract and a lot of studies, if you've ever looked into research, when you try and see the full article, you have to pay for it. This one is not one of those. So there is a full link to the entire written study. But I just want to highlight something from the abstract already. So there's a great sentence here that talks about how red light therapy or light in general affects your eyes. And it's very important for today's modern society. We get exposed to so much blue light. And as they discuss over here, Blue light induces mitochondrial apoptosis in retinal ganglion cells, causing optic damage. So this is the effect of too much blue light. It's not natural that we would be exposed to so much blue light. If you were out in nature, the sun would always give you a balance of blue and red, never these high concentrations of blue like we see with traditional lighting. This is a big cause of eye damage. Now they go on to say, talking about red light, Red light increases cytochrome C oxidase activity in the electron transport chain uh, system, reducing inflammation and increasing antioxidant reactions to promote cell regeneration. Now, this is what we're always talking about with red light therapy. The way that it works is it increases energy production in your cells. That's through cytochrome C oxidase. And again, this is what nature would be doing. Nature would be balancing out the blue light with this so you wouldn't get eye damage but in a modern society that we live in now, we're getting way too much blue. We're not getting enough of the red. Now, before we go into the full article, there's one more snippet from the abstract over here I just want to read. And I'm jumping a bit ahead here, but I just want to read the conclusion from the abstract. So they say the minimization of blue light exposure and the general application of red light treatment strategies are anticipated to show synergistic effects with existing treatments for retinal disease and glaucoma and should be considered a necessary prospect for the future. Now, when we go into the full article, there's a lot more details here and there's some studies that they include in here that I want to quickly reference. Now, there's a whole section here where they talk about blue light. And if you want to read on this further, I'm not going to go into it now, but they talk about the effects of blue light on the eye. Very worth reading. If you're not already doing things to minimize your blue light exposure, you can use things like blue blocker glasses or different software apps to make sure that you don't overexpose your, yourself to blue light. But let's look at the effects of red light therapy on your eye health. So this sentence over here says, active studies on the influences of PBM, which is red light therapy, show positive effects on peripheral nerve regeneration. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six studies referenced over there. So definitely want to go and check those out. You can read up more about it. But as we know, glaucoma is a nerve-related issue. The nerve that is innovating the eye and getting the feedback from the eye is damaged. So we know that red light therapy can help with nerve regeneration. I've done a previous video on neuropathy. I'll link up to it over there. This is with uh, feet neuropathy. But we also know from other studies that red light therapy can help with other eye-related issues, such as age-related macular degeneration. I've done another video, which again, I will link up over here. If you wanna go and check that out, there's a lot of cool research that is showing how red light therapy is able to drastically improve eyesight 
And glaucoma is not an exception. It's a nerve-related issue, yes, but we know red light therapy helps with nerves, and we know that we already get exposed to too much blue light and not enough red and near-infrared light. So by having a red light therapy device, you can essentially supplement your eye vision back into somewhat closer to nature that will offset the amount of blue light that you're exposed to. Now, when it comes to the protocol, this is actually really simple. With our products, we always recommend using the device for just three minutes per day. And there's two ways you can do this. If you are very light sensitive, then you can keep your eyes closed and aim the device at your face. But the best way to actually do it is to aim one of the red light therapy devices at another area. So let's say you're targeting your chest and you simply keep your eyes open and allow the ambient light to enter into your eyes. I've done a video or an interview with one of our customers, Richard, who was doing this. He would just target his chest. I'll link up here again to the video with Richard. But he saw tremendous results just by targeting his chest area, keeping his eyes open and then allowing the ambient light to enter his eyes. Now, something that is very important we haven't seen this with glaucoma, but we have seen this with other eye-related issues, is the timing does matter. We see that there are much better improvements in eyesight when you do your red light therapy sessions in the morning. The researchers still don't know exactly why this is, but they see that when you do an afternoon session, the improvements aren't as drastic. Now, one of the theories around this is that when you wake up in the morning, if you're getting that red and infrared light and you're creating that energy within your eye cells, you're then able to use that, that better eyesight essentially through the day. So it's kind of like a muscle that has a use it or lose it function. If you do it in the morning, you're then going to spend your day with your eyes open and actively using it. Whereas if you did your session, let's say just before bed, after that, you're closing your eyes, you're going to sleep. You're not really exercising those eye muscles. So a good rule of thumb is whenever you're doing any eye related protocol, then you want to be targeting it in the morning and if you can, I recommend aiming towards your chest and then allowing the ambient light to enter into your eyes. You can be at a pretty good distance, so 20 to, or 12 to 20 inches away is a great distance away from the device to use. I recommend using either the MyLight Move, which is a nice portable device. I set one up on my desk, I use that every single morning, and while I'm working, I have it set there aimed towards my face. Otherwise, if you wanted a, bigger, a bit of a bigger panel, you could use the MIDI or MAX panels. And again, just keeping your eyes open and allowing the ambient light to enter your eyes. If you have any questions from today's video, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you have a suggestion or a protocol that you would like to hear more about, you can also let me know down below and then I'll make a video on this in the future. Other than that, I hope that you have a great day further and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.